Hi guys, welcome to LB24 and the talk show Play It Out. I'm Louise White. And I'm Jess Scaleri. Got a fantastic lineup this evening with an actor called Byron, who's in a film called I Used To Be Famous. So Byron, welcome to the show. Thank you. <laughs> All right, you're welcome. Shall we take a look at the movie? Let's do it. Yeah? yeah. Great. Hello, Vince Denham speaking. So listen, you've got the EP, that's that's great. Listen, Psycho all over it, they're gonna snap it up for sure, so you need to get your finger out on this, yeah? But, you gotta put the phone down. Mum, put the phone down. I love Vinnie D from Boys Inc, really. I've got my new uh, EP in it. Have a little listen, maybe. Did you shit yourself in a flashing wall? Have a minute. Delete that. Seriously, I can't even see to be looking like that. Did you look pathetic? You shit then, you shit now. Let's finish the track. I'm Vince. Why are you blocking this? I need him, yeah? Need him? Yeah? He's not here to be you. You're holding him back. Wake the fuck up! Uh, it's okay. Uh, Just leave it all Shut up! Uh, I know you don't get to go to gigs very often, so I, I thought I'd bring one to you, that's all. This is your time. You hear me? This is your time. Right now. Hi guys and welcome back to Play It Out. So Byron, tell me about the film. Uh, it's a fantastic film. Uh, it captures a lot, of, a lot of emotion and a lot of um, realistic sort of scenarios and presents it in a comedic sort of I would say family fun way, but there's a lot yeah. of swearing, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah this really is quite happy. funny, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and at the start of the film, your character's introduced sat next to um, a guy who claims he used to be famous. Yeah. Um, or a music led, shall we say. You know, why did the director use a music connection to get you two together? I, I just felt like it's maybe music can, something that can connect to everybody mm. and uh, yeah. we can all join in on. It doesn't really matter what you're going through, uh, whether you're autistic or not. Yeah. We all still film music. Yeah, um, and I feel that connection as well because like when you're down, you have that certain type of music, don't you? You know, you have you know the celebration side of things. What's it? It's like everybody dance now, <laughs> whatever the song is. You know, and it gets you, it yeah. gets you motivated, doesn't it? And then you've got your sad songs. You know, when you're feeling down, but you know, you've got you know, climb every mountain. You know, that sort of song. You know, and that really gets me buzzing. So, but yeah, I totally agree with what you're saying there. Definitely, I did really enjoy. For me, sorry, I'm just going to go sorry, a little bit more into the character. <laughs> yeah. Um. So for you, when we were talking earlier, this is something that really obviously is quite close to your heart because you have had. Uh, an injury or a brain acquired injury um, when you were younger yeah. and obviously you've played this character Stevie who has got autism which you honestly like it was such a fantastic um, way that you did that particular character with the mannerisms and things I've worked in that industry before um, how hard is it would you say for yourself with someone who has got a disability to actually break into an entertainment industry and trying to create light and exposure on people with disabilities and and kind of bringing it to more of a public forum yeah so it's, it's a really good question um it's been it's been a real struggle because uh, yes. for me like the uh, traditional routes to becoming an actor yeah. were never an option um so the my conditions held me back from uh, full-time study and things like that so i was given the opportunity by a very kind lady in the uh, uh bbc and um, yeah, so uh, Lady Julia Crampsey, she was uh, she was incredible. She gave me a chance to portray these conditions. Mm -hmm. um, so it's the one scenario where actually I'm at a massive ad uh, advantage rather than a disadvantage because I have the first-hand experience on the topic. Yeah, exactly. Um, so that was really but great. But the way that you actually displayed the character, you know, um, like I said, I've worked with autistic kids before, and it was it was you know it was very real for me. I, was, I actually questioned. I was like, oh, I wonder if they actually used an actor that that actually has autism. But um, you know, I actually I thoroughly enjoyed your your role into the film, and, and like the music connection as well was was amazing, which we'll touch on as well. That's the biggest compliment anyone can pay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. I I'll like sweet talking. Just, I'll scratch, I'll scratch easy, the head from out easy. here now. You remember I said this later when you make it, okay? I'm just letting you know. Um, following on from that, actually, in the film, the characters you, are, you act with have all different, different, different um, disabilities. Um, what was the most important lesson you learned from that? 
Um, and did it have a positive effect on the film and yourself as well as an individual? Like, what was the lesson you learned from that? I mean, I've been involved with um, these sorts of subjects since I was a kid anyway, because I've had a lifetime of it. But for yeah. me, what was so beautiful about the film was the actual production process. So we spent a lot of time with it. The character yeah. is based off a real, a, a guy that's really um, got this condition. He's yeah. actually an incredible drummer as well. Wow, uh, really? Yeah, Sully. And, and we spent time with him and his family um, and got to know everybody, got to know the carers. Yeah. And we've got some video footage of that somewhere floating around because it was it was just such that's a beautiful, beautiful. experience. Yeah. Everybody bonded, yeah. everybody came together. And you yeah. don't often see that. With no, that's true. I think music definitely does that though. I mean, I, I used to be a drummer and I, like I said, I still, I have patients that I see in my clinics that have like dementia and things and I play music to them and there's always a connection there with music. Um, and, you know, just unlocking that hidden mind. Um, did you actually contribute at all to the script? When, um, when you were in production with this? Yeah, I mean, I originally wrote it, but I just told them to pretend they did. <laughs> yeah. um, no, I, 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 I like that. Yeah. <laughs> cut, cut that bit. Uh, so, we are live. Um, <laughs> that's a joke. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so, um, no, there was, like, moments where, um, so Eddie, the director, amazing director, we had a great time, and Chris as well. It, uh, so we'd, we'd run something, for some reason, it just didn't feel right, like for whatever reason. And, and we'd, it, they, they were so open that we could literally say, look, we're, we're just not really feeling this. Yeah. And then Eddie would just turn around and say, you know, do you know what, what do you want to do? Yeah. And then we'd say, well, perhaps this or perhaps that. And he would say, let's, let's go with that. And, and for so me... he was open to all that interpretation as a director. That's beautiful, He was though. confident as yeah. well like, that he was mm -hmm. so... That he could work with, you know, I mean, it was Your great. skill set. Yeah. Exactly. He was comfortable with the actors that he employed. Yeah. And you could tell across the film. It works well. It yeah, really, it works every, well. Everybody worked well. Yeah. Together, yeah. Um, one of my favourite parts in the film, actually, is when your character starts getting involved with the music at the end. Because um, he sits down on the chair, doesn't he, with um, his carer, I believe. Mm. And... Naomi, who's yeah, Naomi. going to yeah, be... Yeah, actually, do you want to mention yeah. that? Naomi? <laughs> yes, hi, Naomi. So, uh, Naomi's doing quite well now. She may have just got cast for Star Wars. Way, good girl. I'm still waiting for my... Uh, my... Can you help him out, Naomi? Y yeah, so... <laughs> I'm perfect Ewok height, just saying. Yeah. So I got the part of Obi-Wan Kenobi. And, uh, but, yeah, anyway. And, for, yeah, for legal no, reasons, that's for, a Yes, I was going to say, yeah. yeah. Um, but, yeah, Naomi's doing really great. She, she's good, done really yeah. well in Lady Macbeth as well. She got... Oh, Wow. Um, after this, followed on to get uh, BFI, uh, mm -hmm. actress of the, uh, up and coming actress of the year. Oh, so she did brilliantly yeah. then. But going back to my question as well. Yeah. So obviously, um, at the music at the end of the film, that music scene. Um, how did it make you feel? Because um, obviously, he, 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 you kind of see that he has a voice and an audience. You know, did the director do this to you know to show the audience that anyone can be successful, no matter what ethic or, or disability or you know no no matter what of the circumstances. Um, yeah, I, I think like, he... I think they had a vision um, yeah. of like what they wanted, and it was funny actually that yeah. that that last scene was not played at the last moment. <laughs> we didn't do that last, so oh, wow. that kind of got sprung on me a bit, and I was a bit like, <laughs> "Can you run me through what we got to do here?" And they literally they didn't give me much. Yeah. So then we we, we were surrounded by the general public, <laughs> um, and they we run it, and that actually yeah. that's the first take. The the one that we took there is the first. We've done it a few times. After we'd done that first take, it was incredible. Everybody was crying. The director, <laughs> should I say that? Everybody yeah, was yeah. crying. Everybody it's was... quite funny, actually. Yeah. Yeah. It is good, yeah. But the, I mean, the last music scene where yeah, it was very emotional. Was oh, it was, yeah, definitely. Yeah, um, definitely. But, yeah. And I mean, that was filmed in, in the live, like, in front of the in, general public. Yeah, Peckham. Oh, awesome. wow. yeah. yeah, it was. I was yeah, 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 that's what I actually was, one of my questions was, I'm like, how was it actually filming, you know, in the streets of London, like, and, yeah, in it Peckham? It was great. We had some interesting locals. I mean, yeah. we got yeah. them involved in the end. They helped out. <laughs> um, it was either yeah. that or get them escorted away. Can I just say, actually, that girl is amazing who punched the guy in the face. Yeah, she's <laughs> proper London. Like, she, All right, babe. <laughs> yeah, she's, um, yeah, she's great. Yeah, <laughs> she, was, she was funny. Yeah, I did want to ask as well. Uh, just you know, touching on that, the film is so embedded around music. How important is it? music to you and especially like you know during like filming like did you did you kind of connect with the character for yeah, that film yeah we actually when we went around uh, so the chap who's who the who's the real character yeah. who's played off Sully's house um they had a piano there and i, I play piano uh, i mm -hmm. love playing piano for fun but i can't sight read 
and uh, Suli has got his own style of playing drums. So we actually actually um, properly bonded through music. We had a jam house. session. Yeah, and we, oh, we had yeah. a great time. And um, that, that some of that's captured on video, and it, that wasn't the intention, but it was just a it was a real bonding experience. So. Yeah, music does connect people. Yeah, and that drumming scene there was that something that was kind of just you were let loose on to, or was that quite kind of scripted through? No, or? no, we we went to a drum circle. Yeah, so the guy that takes I love those the, by the way. Um, yeah, yeah <laughs> they're really fun. He, we, where was that? I was somewhere. I can't remember. It's all a bit blurry now. But we was somewhere in another part of London. We went to a drum circle. We all done it for fun. Yeah, and then we we had just had to go on the um, on the real thing. Yeah, um, fantastic. But yeah, no, a, I loved that bit. I actually really enjoyed it. I was I was wondering whether it was like kind of, you know, just as let you kind of run wild or if it was a bit more scripted. No, but... no, drum, drum circles are the way forward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, time. yeah. I'm a yogi <laughs> drummy. Actually, let's um, all... Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> jump session. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. Trump, was that Trump, a tr- trumpet yeah. or what was Trump, it? I was trying to sing at the same time. <laughs> She's multitasking. Like She's multi-talented. Yeah. <laughs> um, following on from that as well, the film <laughs> has such a powerful structure and obviously the most inspiring and influential yeah. storyline, you know, for me it was quite inspirational and, and, you know, what did this mean to you and why? Um, it, like in terms of, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think for me the main thing about the storyline was the, the coming together of people. So we yeah. obviously, poor old Tommy had to play the douchebag and, uh, <laughs> you know, Gave him a bit of stick throughout the uh, production. He did anyway. play it well, though. Yeah. Gotta say, yeah, oh, yeah, was especially when he was going off, I was like, "Oh wow, yeah. he's got the, yeah." yeah I, feel, I feel for Tom. Oh, yeah. I loved the haircut, by the way, Tom. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> he's actually in therapy now because of the, um, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. That was. Good. I don't know. Maybe he is. I don't know. Sessions. Was, but uh, yeah, so Tom. Tom was a bit of a douchebag, yeah. and the way that we all. Sort of Naomi sort of fought my corner. Yeah. I was obviously the uh, vulnerable guy, mm. and we all came together. And yeah, it just it was really nice the way mm. it worked out. And I believe actually for me that is what I've seen in real life. If when people come together, yeah. um, I've done lots of work in um, government with uh, yeah. um, House of Parliament and wow. City Hall, the Mayor's Office, mm. and it's all about just bringing people together Networking. and allow yeah, yeah allowing people to yeah, exactly. help each other. Yeah. That's what so, the, that's what I hope the world should be. That's really. the way it should that's be. The way, exactly that. Yeah. That's exactly how it should be. Well, we were touching on a little bit earlier about how you were networking into it and you're trying to yeah. create a project outside of this amazing film that's, right, that's yeah. got to do with this industry. Yeah. So just just so everyone knows a little bit more about this project, can yeah. you just elaborate a little bit on what this up-and-coming project's about? Yeah, so we started off, um, uh, first of all, uh, having a contribution in Parliament. We've been working on the... Um, Sort of the way that brain injury is actually yeah. treated um, within the country, which is a, a big problem. Uh, but, it is you know, a very unknown area still, even even in Australia. Like obviously, because I worked with a lot of brain acquired injuries too, it's just it's just unknown. The brain is always a mystery. And 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 that crosses over into autism because they're very yeah. connected, both to do with the brain and the brain functioning. Yeah. So we just started off with that, and then I've always had this dream. I've been trying to do it since uh, 2012 Olympics when we was going to launch something in my best friend passed away who was the mayor's oh, advisor sorry, on the yeah. subject yeah and um and then we launched um we come up with this idea and then we had a wealthy donor that gave us a building so that's really nice and there get it. Um, yeah. so then and then we, we got full support of three mps and uh tan tanny tanny gray thompson was yeah. has been great and um even got a, an email from sadiq khan which is looking good wow and so yeah. just pulling everyone together one of the country's leading dots and we're going to try and offer the opportunity, a little bit like this film story, yeah. where we, we take people, we put people together and we allow people to thrive yeah. and reach yeah. their full potential. Exactly. But that can only happen if you have an environment where you can pull people together in a protected... Um, a safe Say so. Safe, yeah, exactly. so. Um, I mean, like, I used to work uh, in the hospitals, and there was we Australia's very big on musical therapies now. It's really kind of delving into that, and uh, you know, it's the capacity of what people can actually do. Um, so I, I know that one particular nursing home we, was all dementia, and we we painted um, a wall where they used to try and get out. We actually painted like a, a actual wall with flowers going on it, and they stopped trying to get out out of the nursing home. Oh. Just there's there's a lot of untapped. So I think it's a brilliant brilliant idea. I know it yeah. sounds like a very exciting project. Yeah, it's it's all it's all it's all really positive stuff. Yeah, really positive. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, Doing yeah, good. Well done, yeah. <laughs> um, going back to your character, um, obviously it's it's an an emotional roller coaster, isn't it? Mm. I mean, what did you want the audience to feel from your character? Like, what emotions did you want them to feel? Because I felt really. Um, What's the word? Like I felt really 
I was like shouting at the screen like go on you can do it you want to get involved like you want to do this and like you know what that, that made me feel real and it made me feel sad as well because it, I felt like because of his autism I thought god he can't do this but he really loves music and he wants to do it and it I felt all different emotions I felt mixed emotions you know what was what was um you know what did you want the character the audience to feel from the character I was mainly going for um fear and oh. trauma well you didn't scare yeah. me <laughs> um, no, uh, so uh, yeah. what was I going for? I was um, I was really trying to portray um, yeah. Sawley's character in a um, I don't know, in a respectful sort of picking out the so Sawley's really sweet and he's yeah. got all these uh, personality attributes that are just really like admirable and then we have uh, other personality attributes that are more challenging yeah. mm. but it's how to portray that in a respectful um, almost like not glamorize it but just really yeah. like make it because it, at the end of the day it's a film it's for entertainment yeah. We're not, of course yeah it's yeah. not a reality uh, yeah. documentary or something so it's just about like how to sort of portray it accurately not to yeah. misrepresent mm -hmm. but at the same time yeah just make it quite easy I, on the eye so sort of. I, I think when uh, that 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 point where that was done really well was when um he obviously left the little drumming circle leaflet there when his carer was trying to take him away. So it was kind of leading Vinny to go there and further develop that. But when Vinny then tried to then push him a little bit too far and he had the breakdown, and I, I yeah. think that it really, really displayed yeah. that that the good days and the bad days and that there's a balance with these kind of things. For me, anyway, I thought that was two really significant scenes. Um, but I, I did notice like when I was reading up on the film that a huge amount of awards that this is actually yeah. gained in the industry and across the UK. Has this opened up uh, more doors for you and you know what kind of other doors has this basically opened up? Yeah, um, it's, it's, it's really done well. It's, it's, it's given me a confidence well. boost as well yeah. because um, yeah. we actually got praised by Roger Deakins, Sir Roger Deakins himself. He, we won a film festival, the Plymouth Film Festival, which he overlooks. But he actually gave an email saying about the um, like personal praise for us individually, which was amazing. Mm. And it, I don't know, it's just inspired me that maybe this is this is the future for my life, just um, yeah. communicating and portraying these types of things. Um, the guys have done really well. I mean, they're incredible. They're, they're very talented um, uh, directors and producers and whatnot. And they're very young as well. They're, they're, I think they're actually younger than me, which is a bit... Uh, we're scary. all born around the same age, yeah. so we're fine. We just get better from, with yeah. age, it's honestly, it's fine. Just moving swiftly on. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> my uh, but yeah, no, it's, um, it's opened up. We've we done something on Zoe, um, Zoe Ball's book review recently. Oh, um, yeah. And there's a, yeah, there's a guy called uh, Robert Lindsay. A guy called Robert Lindsay. Oh, I know he is, my family. Robert Lindsay. Is that the right one? There's a, yeah. there's a, he's a BAFTA winner. Yeah. Is out of my family. No. Oh, he's a ledge, Robert Lindsay. Okay. I know who he is. Oh, he's a ledge. Robert Lindsay, you're a ledge. You are a ledge. <laughs> because you said something very nice about because, him. Because, yeah, you said something nice about him. Go on. But, um, <laughs> yeah, so, so, yeah, so we've done something about brain injury. I yeah. I want to know more about Robert Lindsay. Yeah, oh, he's a ledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. have to go into that. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, and he said um, like something about the performance, which, again, he didn't have to say. So the book was about um, a brain injury. Um, but it, it, the people are actually starting to take notice about the way that these conditions are portrayed, which is really yeah. important. Yeah. Because when they're misrepresenting, it doesn't help anyone. No, of course. Yeah, um, it's not very good as well, is it, when you're trying to... Do you know what I mean? I agree. Yeah. I'm agreeing with you. But going on from that, actually, um, what's the most important to you in terms of a film? For me, it's the characters, but what's the most important for you? Um, the script? or do, Is it the script, maybe? I, what I, do you reckon? Mm. It's a hard question. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd say whatever popcorn you get with it. So, I like that. Yeah. yeah. No, so the, no, no. <laughs> the most important thing about it, salted caramel, so, yeah, chocolate covered. Car I'm there. I'm all, I'm all about sweet. <laughs> caramel, sweet. I'm there. I'm chocolate popcorn. I've never even heard of these. But, so, so me, it would be about the message of the film, like the yeah. kind of the underlying what what the film is trying to portray, because. Um, yeah, without that, I mean, we all love a, like an action. Well, I love action films every now and again. Is that again. your favourite? Yeah, an yeah, action. It's, it's, yeah. All, it's all good. Terminator Two, whatever. But like, Terminator Two. I'll be back. No, is that the right one? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're good at this. I don't know. Sort of. um, so, so yeah, but the 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 message has to be like yeah. for me it has to. It almost has to teach us something. Yeah. Otherwise, I, it just come actually, away yeah. feeling like we've not really contributed or achieved something, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. 
Well, I would like to touch on a little bit earlier when you just um, said how, you know, how disabilities are portrayed. Mm. If you could go and um, change the way that media portrays disabilities, how would you go about and kind of open up this can of worms, I was going to say? Yeah, I think, I think you, just to start off from like foundation ground level, it's like yeah. the, the word disability is so unhelpful yeah. because it's just like, I don't think people are disabled. I think people it's like have, limitations more. Yeah, or and they, they maybe have like health conditions, and, yeah. and then yeah. those health conditions um, create like problems or maybe disadvantages and struggles. But then what we can do is we can focus on those struggles and overcoming those struggles, yeah. as opposed to like saying that this person is unable when they're, they're, they're not usually yeah. people that are unable to do certain things excel in other things exactly. to, to make to compensate exactly so yeah. it's just about again like the way we're viewing them and maybe. I think there's also just such a lack of uh, uh, exposure you know we, we just don't see it um, yeah. we just don't see it enough of you know people on the fi on TV um, or in media like being talked about or as, as a topic and I don't know like you know for yourself if you found that as well but yeah. I just I do find that there is a real lack of exposure yeah for me it's a it's a, it's a something I'm very passionate about yeah. so I mean if you take other um, sectors of equality yeah. uh, racial or religious equality I mean we, we're working on those very successfully and people are fighting for those but mm -hmm. when it comes to the subjects of health I mean we're talking like 20% we're, I yeah. think we're the most un underrepresented sector yeah. uh, of, of uh, society because there's like two percent or something of actors representing those uh, 20 percent so that's not fair and also yeah. add into that what really winds me up is like most um, people with health conditions so I was told by a good friend of mine who's fighting against racial inequality mm -hmm. and he said you know what the answer is you guys have got to fight for it because that's what we've had to do so yeah. my answer to that was it made me even more angry it was like yeah. A lot of people are unable to fight because exactly. they don't have a voice. They don't have a voice, yeah. which is like for me. Like I'm a very big advocate for people who don't have a voice. So, like for me, I'm involved in lots of different organisations, especially back in Australia, because I feel quite passionate. That's that fighting boxer spirit that comes out. <laughs> yeah. um, exactly. Yeah. I know what this one. <laughs> um, but I, I totally agree with you in, in terms of that. There is a, a lack of people who are willing to raise that voice or raise awareness and the fact that the exposure is not there. And I think that this film's done it brilliantly and you've actually portrayed that really well. Yeah. That's and going back to what we just mentioned, actually, do you think diversity is important in films? Do you think there should be more um, films showing disabilities and things like that and people who can't, you know, do you think that's an important I think, aspect in the film industry. Yeah, I do. I met the producer of a film called My Feral Heart, and she, she's yeah. incredible. She's done a, a similar film um, portraying the idea of um, disability and that. But, however, I, I do feel that like there's there's a good portrayal, there's no portrayal, yeah. and then the worst one is a bad portrayal. Yeah, because okay. Because I yeah. think that that's really unhelpful when you yeah. get like um, I don't know, like a, a a TV series, a popular one that portrays a condition and misrepresents it because it just yeah. it, it gives stigma to yeah, things exactly, that doesn't yeah. exist. And the stigma is the most damaging thing yeah, for most conditions. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Um, so. Just towards the end of the, the film, we, we did kind of had a, 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 the closing song, um, which was obviously what the whole film was kind of leading towards. Yeah. Did, were you guys part of that creative process? Or you did mention that there was a couple of people that were part of that creative process? Yeah, it was... Um, uh, so yeah, Eddie, it was really open. I remember sitting in the car with him, and yeah. he was just playing the first versions of the song, <laughs> and we were sort of like, Ooh, uh, but he was like asking me for comments and feedback. Yeah, he didn't go with most of my comments in the end anyway. <laughs> but like, but anyway, that's cool, Eddie. It's cool. It's um, fine. I only play piano. That's fine. It's, it's all right. Fine, yeah. I won't remember that. It's, it's no big deal. I'm not not bothered. I'm, not, I'm just not bothered. Um, but like, uh, yeah, he they put a lot. I mean, the sound the soundtrack on that film. I, it's, if you've got a proper sound system and you get the opportunity, the sound is like second to none. It yeah. was, um, mm. It's actually mixed by what's his name, Amy Winehouse's uh, producer. Producer, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> so he, okay. uh, yeah, he, he was actually wow. involved in it. But That's the, amazing. It's incredible. So sound was a big thing for those guys. Yeah. 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 And, well, I mean, that the film is based around music. Like it's a it's an important feature, but yeah. it, you could really you could hear it. I loved the driving circle. I loved it. It was perfect. 
And going back to your character, actually, what do you do to encourage the professional approach you want in terms of your character? So how do you get that professional approach across? Because this, um, obviously, the um, the actor you played, mm. it must have been very hard and difficult for you to get around that as well. Obviously, you did a lot of research, mm. but how did you so, get that professionalism across? So it was twofold. It was, um, yeah. I kind of shortcutted it a little bit because yeah. um, what I normally do is a lot of research into those type of people um, yeah. w w that we're portraying so yeah. and and but I've already done that throughout my life because I've been around them all my life yeah, so, so um, kind of, yeah. yeah and yeah. and so brain injury also overlaps with autism so I've been around lots of brain injury people as well, well. Yeah. Um, but then it was like what I did is I actually went out and about in the general public in character and yeah. I had I've just got some amazing stories about the experience I had. Tell um, me some. Tell us some. Tell us some. Right. <laughs> so, some of them are positive. Like people yeah. were so so kind and compassionate. Yeah. So they would. Um, they, I mean, I might have had somebody in the background with me, but in, well, in the background. But it was yeah. to get a feel of how people would, would react. react to me. Yeah. And people would help you and be kind. And then you just get some really mean spirited yeah. people. Yeah. yeah. And I actually That's like awful. a couple of times lost it. So yeah. I was like, scrap this, right. You're you're <laughs> yeah. and I and I had a go yeah. at them. Did and, you? Yeah. 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 They should be doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah good. But yeah. it's it's interesting because you see through the eyes of like a person who yeah. has a disability and it's quite the way you're sad treated. really, isn't yeah. it? To yeah. think that's what they're going through and you know, they can't do much about it. So it's quite sad. You know, is yeah. I think, you know, my dad's disability he's a disability. He's got he had a kidney transplant. Right. So he got a lot through that. He had to give up his whole career um because of his because of his kidney really. So I can understand that. And uh, you know, he didn't want to be in a wheelchair, he felt ashamed and you know, and he's not in a wheelchair, but they, you know, he did to he had to at first because mm. he was on dialysis, um, and he found it he felt really weak. But after, I mean, now he's had the kidney transplant, such wood. He's doing really strong as well. You know, he's walking around and all yeah. sorts. But you know, he's um, yeah, he was. So yeah, I can totally understand that. It's, I also think that you know, looks can always be deceiving because like we're sitting here and you wouldn't know what's happening to a person as well. Yeah. Like what their health journey has been. You know, whether or not they've you know, if they've had issues in the past. So I always think I always try and as a person or as an individual yeah. I always try and put into the mind of well you don't know what that person's journey is so exactly. you should but not everyone's like that so I think that's an amazing yeah. story that you actually did I would have actually loved to have a camera yeah. and actually videotape <laughs> yeah. to that experience because yeah. I'm sure that would have been a very unique experience yeah um yeah. but you know looking at this short film because it is only I think it's roughly 17 minutes long yeah I think yeah. It's about that. yeah is yeah. it Looking because I, I think this is a huge topic and it can go a lot further. Yeah. Are they looking to make this into a longer feature film? They are looking to make it into a longer feature film. Because I think it would be fantastic yeah, if me it was. Too. Yeah. I think I think the world just I wanted more. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted more from this. <laughs> more than seventeen that, minutes, guys. That's Get it. Good. That's exactly yeah, what yeah. we wanted. Yeah, to do. exactly. I think as well, um So they're looking to make it into there a should longer be more yeah. in yeah. the industry about that. I think, yeah, I, think, I think nowadays what the the issues are surrounding funding. It's just purely right. about funding and the amount of money it actually costs to make a to yeah. make a film. I think these are the things that. Yeah. Um, so if there's anybody out there that's got a spare, anybody who wants uh, to invest into yeah. a beautiful film, uh, yeah, <laughs> old Peckham people calling. Yes. We want a film. Well, no, Steven Spielberg. I'm more on the hands off. Yeah. It's, um, but it's, Great, yeah, yeah, that's the only I'd say barrier to. Make but it. it's yeah. the money, isn't it? It's, like, it's a shame, really, because you know it should it should have no barriers. This is what needs to be out there. This is one of the messages that I'm passionate about, and Phil should be out there within the film industry. So they should yeah. be investing, and and they should take a look. So, um, and on that, the movie really inspires me to obviously get out there and make my dream, no matter what. Um, you know, as you can feel the character's determination. Now, do you think your character portrays this in the right way, or should you have done it differently? Would you have changed anything with that character? Um, or would you have kept it as it is? Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'll be too far, guys. Um, Funding. Yeah. <laughs> Funding. Funding. This is really good water as well. Advertising. Yeah. <laughs> sure as water. <laughs> Making yeah. me very relaxed. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. the character... Hold on. So, the, the character... Would you have done anything differently or would you have kept it as it is? Is So... Would you have changed anything or... Not... Were not, you happy the way it all went? Not really. I would have. I would have liked to... Shown so the part where I was out in the public oh, yeah. and and I've, the experiences I had on that front oh. with the positive and the negative. Yeah, I would have liked to. Um, I don't know, maybe do something like you said. It yeah. would have been interesting it would to have see. Been very, but yeah. I'd like to have incorporated at some point, maybe in the future, in a different production, 
those experiences because they tend to repeat themselves. Yeah. So the way yeah. people treat you is is quite. Is, there are a, similarities. There's a lot of similarities. Yeah. I know. My yeah. mum's always taught me to never judge a book by its cover, and that's exactly what I do. So you know, yeah. I'm exactly like that. And like you know, you never know. Like Jess said, you never know what they're going through. You know, you just people's don't. experiences. So, yeah, it's different experiences. Yeah. yeah. Just to bring some lighthearted moments into this, can you please tell me some of the funniest moments? Because you just <laughs> touched on them. Funniest moments on set. Yes. Because I'm guessing, because you, you're quite comical, so I'm guessing it would have been yeah. quite a fun set to be on. I mean, I'm not Especially gonna... with Vinny's hair, like, honestly. Yeah. I'm going to leave Tom oh, alone, God. seriously. Oh, Come on, oh, let's go. Yeah, let's leave. <laughs> let's leave. Let's leave. Let's leave. Yeah, yeah, so, let's leave. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to get into details, but there was some, there was a lot of flirting that was. There going was. On. There was a <laughs> lot of flirting. Don't tell me with the girl on the show. Like, no, no, it was the general public. All right. It was the, the general, general public. public. Yeah, no I'm sure. <laughs> that was quite yeah. funny, and that was always put in like. So you'd go from like this serious emotional scene yeah. to like backstage conversations. I mean, they were. They were <laughs> Come on, you got to. You know who you are, and you know what you said. Um, but who are you? Who are you? That's for days. It was, like, it, was, it was quite funny with the Peckham locals as well. There's one guy that he wouldn't go away, and he didn't seem like he was going to go away without uh, like trouble. So in the end, we just all sort of agreed: should we just put him in the film? So no it was way. just like, yeah, it was, it was just a little quick bit of training. Like, don't look at the camera. Um, that was the first rule. And then it was like, that's how on. we get on TV, Louise. We, we just pest up. Yeah, yeah. that's oh, how we do it. This one the whole so, time. That's how we roll. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just a quick bit of training just yeah, quick yeah. <laughs> um, in terms of you know the character did you have any input and obviously would you, oh I've asked that question sorry I'll, leave, I'll ignore that question I've just asked that I thought I was the one with yeah you like, what's going on I, think, I, think I swear you just asked that you're playing games with me this is not ethical yeah I feel like sorry yes it's um yeah. I, I want to ask more I want to go back on to more of this filming in the general public how hard was it to actually film in the general public and, and, and like the streets of London yeah it was, I was kind of looking at the bus number and yeah. actually trying to at the start of it I don't know I was like where is this <laughs> like yeah it was good i i went rogue a couple of times as well and in, in the in-between takes and just like Cheek went light. into character and just walk, went walking down the streets trying went to nando's yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'll be <laughs> back <laughs> yeah. and it was it was it was interesting like um the general public were like really actually they were really supportive yeah. i think when they actually saw the vulnerability of the main character it was probably like a bit, oh, yeah, let's muck it up, you know, let's have a bit of a Mickey tape. But then when he saw the vulnerability of the real character, they were almost like, oh, this is a good thing. Yeah. And yeah, yeah like I said, a lot of them ended up joining in and Positivity. supporting it. It was yeah. really great. Oh, yeah. I'd love it. And this is like, this is Peckham, it Peckham like a few years ago. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my so, dodgy area. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's got more trendy now, but. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it has definitely. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, what can we see from you next, then, Byron? What have you got planned next? Is there anything that will come in? Well, um, like I did, I did mention about Star Wars. So, <laughs> Uh, I mean, I, I, if you're at, I'm not doing that Ewok again. I'm not doing Obi Wan. Yeah, why not do that? Yeah, yeah um, I, to be honest with you, I just I love acting. Um, yeah. I love actually. My my desire would be to portray more yeah. conditions with neurolog people with neurological conditions because yeah. it's yeah. where my heart's at. It's where your passion is. To yeah. be honest with you, I'd do anything anyone pays me to do. <laughs> within acting. Um, an acting job. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Yeah. What uh, do we need, Louise? Yeah, <laughs> clarify that a bit later. Um, but yes, yeah, yes, just I, I just love acting, and if, if there's any way I can do something in the future, it doesn't mean it doesn't matter, big or small. Yeah, um, it's, about... it's just something you know when you find something you can do. And for me, if I can portray a message that um, my heart agrees with, that like yeah. such as neurological conditions, then. Yeah, it's happy wow, days for me. Yeah. So you take anything, basically. Yeah. No, I think he's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Byron. I was. I was almost coming to you. Defense. I'm like, yeah. oh no, she's joking. It's okay. I don't know where this is going. <laughs> it's a little costume for me. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But can I just say, Byron, it's been an absolute pleasure. And thank you so much. Um, that film is absolutely amazing. So guys, please watch this film because it's brilliant. You'll be really inspired and it'll have you wanting more. And yeah, I hope it really gets funded for a feature film. I, you know, I'm praying. I think it's good. So thank you for coming on. I want to wish you all the best. Thank and you. guys, we'll catch you next week. Thanks, guys. Bye. 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 <laughs>